Welcome Pisces, thank you so much for joining me and welcome to the song series. Welcome to the final episode of the song series. We made it, can you believe it? If you've been with me from the beginning, that's epic. I can't believe it but go you, that's great. That means that you're very keen to learn the zodiac and as a student of the zodiac I, I do watch other signs and all kinds of uh, ridiculously long astrological videos and lectures and all that kind of thing so I know that feeling there was one eight hour lecture that I remembered watching one time and I had to break it up over multiple days but it was a lot of fun actually and uh, well what can I say as someone who's been presenting a little video for each sign in the zodiac it's been an amazing journey for me I've really enjoyed myself and what better place to relax and unwind than in beautiful Pisces. I am so glad that we're here. This is the place to be. This is the place to unwind and relax after a long, long stretch. How far have we come? Well, we started our journey in Aries, which is right next door, which is here. And we have come up this way. I've been running the zodiac around this way because one of my teachers did that and I found it to be in a very effective way of uh, going about showing the seasons and light and matching that with the story of what's going on here. So we start in spring. The light is at its best up here in summer and we've got all these individual kind of signs here where the focus is more on the individual and then when we fall into the depths of winter here you know we're looking at more collective consciousness we have to group together here because the light is less we have to be together we have to work together we have to interact you know and there's more group consciousness going on down here that's how I tend to see the zodiac in, the, in that in this series of 12 that's certainly how I've been teaching it so we have come to this beautiful place right here which is oh I didn't write it fully there we go Pisces we're here we made it and we're going to relax and have fun because that's what goes on here <laughs> as for a quick recap on your sign which I've been doing for every sign you are ruled by Jupiter your element is water, you are symbolized by the fish, and your motto is I believe. That's a great motto to have here because I believe, you know, I believe I can make anything happen. I believe everything is possible. I believe life is magnificent, you know. These are the kind of beliefs and things that can happen in this part of the zodiac very much so. Your sign originally rules the 12th house and to me that represents no boundaries, all is one. This is the place of all is one. Everything is connected, no boundaries. Uh, and that's kind of why I actually see this as the Aquarius here. I see this as the place to do kind of a life review. When we are on this earth plane Aquarius is kind of the time of legacy and taking stock and looking back on our lives and measuring that up with okay that's what I've done for the last 20 years what am I going to do for the next 20 years you know for example hang on did I say that right this is what I've done for the last 20 years this is what I'm going to do for the next 20 years you know what I mean uh, that's a very Saturnian thing going on there but Pisces now we enter this, for me this is a kind of special realm because it's no boundaries because it's all is one um, you know when I was in cancer I was talking about the ocean being another fellow water sign they understand the ocean they understand the ocean of emotion where you can't see any land where it's just kind of limitless ocean well now for you guys you are water as well and I see you as being yes you're the ocean you understand the ocean but you are the ocean and you are the rocks and you are the land and you are the sun and you are the sky and you are I kind of see you as 
everything almost. Uh, you know, Pisces also represents isolated places, distant lands, dreaming, spirituality, drugs, escape. You know, and when you take drugs, I'd imagine, I actually don't know because I've never done anything like that. Uh, even though I've read and watched loads about ayahuasca and all kinds of cool things, and I, I think that's all very fascinating. I would experiment, but the reason I'm kind of turned off by that is when I was a kid, I was in hospital quite a bit, and I took loads of drugs, and now it's just like, blah, I don't want to take any of that because it just reminds me of hospitals and all of that stuff, and so it's never been something that's been open to me. But, you know, I mean, I, I can go places after a strong coffee, so that's kind of cool. I'm very sensitive. Anyway, um, where was I? I was all this one. It's going to get messy in here. I'm going to be scatty, aren't I? I know it. I know it. There's going to be tangents. There's going to be all sorts. Okay. All is one understands the ocean. Yeah. So I was saying that you are the ocean and you are the rocks and you are the land and you are the sun and the sky and everything and the fish and the everything. I mean, you're everything. What aren't you? And when you take drugs, that's what I was saying. I imagine that what happens there is it kind of, you go into a place where sensory boundaries disappear, you know, where you become merged with everything. And I think that's probably the best way to say it. Sensory boundaries disappear, you know. The table isn't hard anymore. Everything's mushy and everything's technicolor and weird and, you know, I mean, fascinating, right? Really incredible stuff. Uh Yes, this is an amazing part of the zodiac. This morning when I was thinking about the video that I was going to do here, a thought popped into my mind which was I am the walrus and I'm thinking, hang on a minute, that's the Beatles. And I was thinking, well, yeah, because I'm going to record Pisces today. I better check out that song. I checked out the lyrics and I kind of vaguely remembered it, but I mean, look at the opening line here. I am he as you are he as you are me and we are all together. What a great line. That is a sensational line and that is Pisces. You know, I am the Eggman, they are the Eggman, I am the walrus, goo 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 goo. Like, this is Pisces. Do you know what I mean? What I was saying about I am the ocean, I am the fish, I am the rocks, I am the sun, I am this, that, everything. Yes, you are everything. And I am he as you are as, hang on. I am he as you are he as you are me and we are all together. God, I, I even need to read that because it's so wild and mad. And imagine when they were singing it. They didn't have, they just had to memorize it. They wrote it. So, you know. Anyway, I, that is not your song, by the way. This could have been your song. I am the walrus could have been your song. But I didn't want to go down that road because I, did, I, I didn't want to do the cheesy thing or I didn't want to do the cliche thing. And I, I wanted to pick for every single sign, I wanted to pick a really cool song that you could come out of it and go, I love this sign. I love my sign. Do you know what I mean? I wanted to pick a song that would be uplifting or that makes the sign seem really cool. So before I get to your song, I'm actually going to welcome any ninth house people that have come here, any Sagittarians who are here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. In your sign, Sagittarius, I recommended that you come over here into Pisces and you get a feel for what this place is all about. And Pisceans, I'm going to fill you in on a little bit of what I said to your fellow Jupiterians over in Sagittarius. I was talking about their version of truth, which is, I know this much is true. And we've got the veil here, and then we've got what's beyond the veil, which is 12th house truth, which is Piscean truth. Okay, so we've got Sagittarian truth here. We've got Piscean truth on the other side of the veil. And... One of the things I wanted to, I came up with this idea recently as well when I was thinking about Pisces and to help explain what is this concept of twelfth, uh, ninth house truth, which is Sagittarian truth. I had this neat little idea pop into my head that, well, they're kind of like branded thinkers in some ways. Uh, so I'll explain what I mean. What do I mean by that? Well, if you go to university, ninth house, Sagittarius, 
you come out with a certain brand of thinking, don't you? And, so, and you see people talk like this. They'll say, well, I'm a Cambridge man or I'm an Oxford lady or I'm, a, I'm from Harvard or I'm from Yale. Or, I mean, these are the people who are coming out of the top universities. They're talking like that. But it's branded thinking, if you know what I mean. So it's like, well, I wear Levi's jeans or I wear Primark or I wear Chanel or whatever. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the same happens out of the ninth house when it comes to truth. It's like branded truth or branded thought or branded thinking. You look at religious institutions. Well, I'm a Christian. I'm a Hindu. I'm a whatever. Do you know what I mean? I mean, there are so many. And I'm a Scientologist. There we go. Bet you didn't think I was going to pick that one, but I did. And um, yeah, I mean, there are all these different religions. That's a branded type of spirituality, potentially. So to help the Pisceans see what's going on here, it's I know this much is true with my five senses. And Jupiterians, uh, Sagittarians, I should say, welcome, who've, who've joined us for some 12th house Piscean truth, which we're going to get into. So what song have I chosen for you, Pisces? I have chosen a really sweet and beautiful song. I love this song. It's, it's very romantic and dreamy, which suits you, I, I think. And that's More Than Words by Extreme. It's a really famous song when I was growing up, really popular. Uh, again, this is a place where I've got a black and white film clip. The first black and white film clip we had in the song series was in Capricorn. And I did that to introduce Saturn, who does more with less. Uh, you know, and, and your film clip is also black and white. But I think that's more out of simplicity rather than necessity. Um, the title in, in itself is really good, more than words. We're going beyond words. You know, Eckhart Tolle so beautifully has explained to us that words are merely signposts. They are pointers to the truth, but they are not the truth. You know, words are just like, they're abstract. You know, perhaps words could be seen as a model or a map even. Why not? I see astrology as offering us a map. Um, yeah, and depending on which system you use and how things are calculated, you know, one can get into some debate about astrology and the models and maps that come out of astrology. But, yeah, I mean, more than words here. We are going beyond the words. As Eckhart said, you know, they're just signposts to the truth, but they are not the truth. We've always got to remember that, always. Because sometimes we can get too caught up in, in the words. Pisces is about feeling, you know, and words... Words are a little bit cheap in the face of feelings. When I was in Sagittarius, I was talking about the, and this was another Eckhart story. Eckhart Tolle talks about the person who writes the PhD about honey and who knows everything about it but has never tasted it. And then the moment they taste it, wow, what a mind-blowing experience that must be. I mean, your mind is blown, you know, and all of your other senses are open and you are feeling and experiencing everything in a whole new way. That's incredible, you know, that, that's, that's really special. And that is what the potential of this part of the zodiac is all about. That's what you can experience here. You can taste honey and be electrified by it. So that's, that's pretty special. So now in your song, in your film clip, Pisces, we've got two singers and you've got two fish. So that's kind of cool. But interestingly, this is not a duet. Now, if you were with me in Gemini, and Gemini is Aries, Taurus, and Gemini is up here. Gemini, the height of summertime. And for Gemini, I had given them, I had actually dedicated two songs to Gemini. Uh, and in their songs, they were duets. And we had one talking and another talking. 
And sometimes they were talking, but sometimes they were singing to each other as well. So it was uh, Lady Gaga and Tony Bennett and, you know, having a nice little conversation there. So there, it was a duet. Now you have two singers, but they're not having a chat with each other. These two singers are harmonizing. They're blending their voices together. And, you know, they're singing the same song, just at different tones. And you've got this gorgeous harmony and blending and merging and all is one happening uh, in, in this film clip. It's really beautiful. We have a look at some of the notable lyrics. More than words is all you have to do to make it real. Then you wouldn't have to say you love me because I'd already know. How sweet is that? You know, it's, it's like all is one. You know, you don't even have to say. You don't even have to speak. I will feel it. How special is that? Uh, and as I'm going through my notes, I'm also noticing that, my goodness, I do have another song for you, Pisces. I'm going to be generous because you have two fish. I'm giving you a second song. And that's here. I didn't realize I was going to do this, but there we go. That's what's going on. Uh, Wave by Antonio Carlos Jobim. And there's a beautiful line in that song, the fundamental loneliness goes whenever two can dream a dream together. Again, the blending, the all is one, the harmony, the together, you know, there are no boundaries there's no separation. We're all one. In this part of the zodiac, that consciousness is ever present and it's understood. Very special. It's a very special gift you have, Pisces, to be able to really understand that. So I've given you two songs. How incredible. But shh, don't tell Gemini. Let's let this be our secret because I gave them two songs as well. And I kind of made it out to be a big deal there. So yeah. We'll just keep that between us. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, this thing of secrets, that kind of applies to you as well because there are two places where secrets are held, I believe. There's the eighth house, Scorpio. They're great at keeping secrets. Sometimes they're generating secrets. You know, that's okay. That's good. Uh, and then there's Pisces. And what are your secrets? Well, you have secret talents, I would think. <clears throat> you know, it's... um. I would, yeah, I would definitely say you've got, you've got hidden talents, hidden talents and hidden gifts, hidden abilities to kind of go beyond the veil and, and extract and bring to earth some of that magic stuff that, that, that is waiting to manifest here. But, you know, I mean, we all have to, this is a really good point. I'm glad this has come up at this point now. Perfect. Um, this point of wanting to take what's from that other realm and bring it here, you know, all is one. And sometimes we're not ready. We're not ready for what's here, you know. And that's why we have Saturnian delays. That's why we have things like that going on in the Zodiac because we need to help the stragglers. You know what I mean? We all need to evolve together. We all need to evolve as the one, as one hum humanity, one human family. We all need to evolve together. So that's sometimes why we have delays in life and that's sometimes why things go slowly and things aren't evolving as fast as we would like. You know, we would love to just extract and draw all the cool stuff that's on the other side of the veil and, and manifest it here and bring all the beautiful art and all the heaven on earth and all that kind of thing, but are we all ready? Can we handle that much light and love? You know, that, that is definitely something that um, is part of this Pisces slice of the zodiac. You know, some people are terrified of love. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that just something amazing? And there are loads of stories that come out of this part of the... Maybe I'll record another video about this um, because I'm probably running out of time here. But, you know... There are many stories about these saints and I've got one just, I've got his picture right here on my, on my wall. Neem Karoli Baba is an amazing 
Indian guru, saint, I don't know what you'd call him, I do not know, he's kind of like a god on the earth kind of thing. But he would give people this look of unconditional love that that could almost fry their bodies kind of thing. Like it's, it's, it's powerful stuff, that kind of love, I'd imagine. Uh, I can only imagine, really. I, I haven't met anyone like him and I don't know what that's all about. But what I do know is that that kind of, a lot of the stories around people like him, they're very Piscean in nature. You know, this, this is a phenomenal part of the, of the Zodiac, very, very exciting. So what's great about Pisces? I mean, as I said, I, I could do another video. I really could, and, and who knows, maybe one day I will do another video about you. I hope so. Uh, you guys are the dreamers of the Zodiac. You're wonderfully romantic. You're forever on the brink of enlightenment. And the art that comes out of this part of the zodiac is absolutely phenomenal. As I was saying, it's, it's what we pull from the other side and, and bring here to earth. It's just incredible. You know what's on the other side of the veil. I've got a note here. Please do teach and share what you discover with the rest of us. So Pisces, if I had a tip for you, what would the tip be? As for every sign... I've been giving a little tip and I've been suggesting that they go into their polar opposite and spend a bit of time there or, you know, if you feel that life is getting a bit staid or boring, you want to shake it up a bit, you want to do something different, you can get a bit of energy from Virgo. Now, Virgo lives just opposite you here. You can come to this place here. And investigate what Virgo is all about. Uh, you can watch my video to do that. Or if you don't have time to do that, which is absolutely fine, I can tell you what you need to do. You need to go to the city and you need to soak up some city vibes. Okay? Now that is an unusual tip, right? But it is. The Virgo energy is kind of busy and city and professional and we're doing stuff and we're going places and we're building and we're healing and you've got a lot of healing energy. You'd naturally love being in Virgo. There's, a, there's an instant connection there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, being busy and industrious and, you know, spending some time in a city it's amazing. All the other signs, I'm telling them, you know, go and spend time with a large body of water. <laughs> but for you guys, who is the large body of water, I'm saying, well, go to the city and uh, maybe heal some people who need, need some of your beautiful, light, romantic, dreamy, gorgeous energy. Please share that with the world in places where they need it. You know, I think that's why a lot of artists do live in the cities. Um, you know, you've got New York, a huge number of talented artists and writers and amazing people in that really big city. Uh, you know, it's, it's, we need all different types of energies mixing and mingling with each other. So perhaps this is quite a good tip and a good wise tip. I have no idea. But Pisces, I just want to thank you so much for coming and watching this video and I want to thank you for being a much loved and vital part of the Zodiac. You know, your unique energy is tremendously vital and healing and special and we need you, you know, we need more people like you and thank you for just being because just by being you are doing so much for the collective consciousness. So thank you very much. And really, I mean, this concludes the song series. So if you've been with me from the beginning, my goodness, congratulations for getting this far. Thank you for watching um, all the episodes. That's amazing. You must be quite a student of astrology to, to have done that. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, Pisces, my camera just stopped working. It's been happening quite a lot lately, so I'm going to have to figure it out. I, I guess I'll have to take the camera to be repaired or something. But I was wrapping up anyway, and I just really wanted to thank you for stopping by. Go check out 
Virgo, see what they're all about. This is the end of the song series and I hope to record other similar series. So if you have enjoyed this, then please feel free to share uh, and, you know, be great to hear your comments, actually. That's something I'd really love. So feel free to, to comment and, you know, tell me your thoughts about how you found this content. But thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you on the channel. Thank you.